But what is most shameful, according to me, is when you see MPs who say that the president is violating the constitution, especially those from the Azimio side, and still stand and say we need the CDF for our learners, even though the courts had said this is unconstitutional. Hello there and welcome to General Cabrera Unfiltered on this particular Wednesday. I'm so grateful that you've been joining me for these conversations that I've had since the year started. I did my first show on General Cabrera Unfiltered, my monologue with you, speaking to you directly about the situation in Kenya and the feedback was tremendous. I want to say thank you so much. Of course, I still have my conversations, my interviews with different stakeholders in governance and politics. We still continue to have those conversations, but this is just me and you talking about what impacts this country. Something else I saw in the comments was Herman Minyore. Herman Minyore is still around, taking a break. If you miss him, you can call him, you can DM him on X. He's still around, he's doing well. Just taking a break from politics. You know how these things get crazy. And also, if you want to advertise, so many people are asking me, can you talk about my product on your show? Yes, you can just uh, send me an email through the email down below and we'll be able to advertise, talk about your product, talk about what you're doing as we're talking to Kenyans. These conversations, as I usually say, are conversations I hope will help our political leaders make better political moves and informed policy decisions. Today I'm talking about the absurdity and the common sense in CDF. It was changed, uh, the name was changed to National Government Con uh, Constituency Development Fund. Uh, and I'm just thinking about Shakespeare, you change the name of a rose, it still smells the same. So it's still CDF, right? But if there's one person you don't want to be, CS Ndungo for Treasury, Jungun Ndungo, who they have threatened to impeach him, send a motion of impeachment, if he doesn't send them the money, it's 43 billion in the next seven days. Azimio and Kenya Kwanzaa are united. <laughs> united for CDF. If we want to, our MPs to, uni to, to be united, just send them, just take monies from them and they'll unite and they'll come for you. We know, we know they control CDF. We know how helpful it has been to them in their campaigns. We'll talk about that. And for the learners who depend on CDF, I want to talk to you also about that. The parents that depend on CDF, We'll talk about that, but first listen to Rarienda MP Otiendo Omolo speaking about CDF and tell me what you think. Is this a shame or is this what needs to happen for our learners to go back to school? The truth about Constituency Development Fund is that the courts termed it unconstitutional. From the High Court to the Appeal Court, to the Supreme Court, unconstitutional. Saying you cannot be oversighting government and still be the one spending money. You cannot oversight money and spend money. It is the responsibility of parliament to oversight how the executive is using money, right? How can you be the same person uh, spending this money? It doesn't make sense, right? So we need to look at this critically without any binary thinking, without saying, oh, we are depending on CDF, or oh, there are people who will not go to school without CDF. Yes, I know, I agree on that. And that is also making sense. There are people that depend on CDF, but we'll also talk about that. But for now, we have to agree that you cannot be the person spending money and using it. Just common sense and stupidity. That is my conversation when it comes to this CDF. Common sense and stupidity. Talk about common sense. Some learners depend on CDF. There are parents who can only afford 7,000 to send their kids to school, and CDF can give them 3,000 extra. But how many of these learners exist that, are, that their parents can afford some money and therefore CDF comes in handy just a little bit? If CDF, for me, was actually helpful to so many learners out there, you should be able to pay for their fees 100%. And what do I mean? Free secondary education. It doesn't make sense for you to give me 3,000, my fees is 15, 30,000. So this child will still be sent home. True or false? I think that is so much true. What we need to agree about the Constituency Development Fund is that parliamentarians are using this for themselves. I call it a popularity tool. What do I mean by a popularity tool? You go from one school to the next saying, Nita jenga cho hapa, jenga this dining hall here, jenga this administrative block throughout the constituency. So this is what they do so that they can remain relevant, so that people can remain saying their name. Oh, Kabiru, Kabiru, Arudi Tena. But what people forget is that this money is yours and you deserve it. 
It doesn't matter when you are giving it, who's giving it to you, it is yours. And what we need to talk about is national government spending this money or county government spending this money for the benefit of Kenyans. When we talk about the responsibility of, national, uh, of members of the National Assembly, which is oversight, is to ensure that there is no wastage, right? Every shilling is accounted for spent, whether it's Senate by the, gover by the governors or whether it's the National Assembly by the national government. You need to ensure that there is no wastage and you need to ensure that there is no corruption. If these two things are dealt with, there is no corruption and theft, there is no wastage. If these two things are dealt with, there will be accessibility to education. We can actually get to a place where we say we have free education in Kenya. And therefore, if you see your MPs fighting for you, for those that term poor learners that will be turned away from schools, you need to ask yourselves, are we fixing the issue? The issue now is children learning and children studying for free. If MPs do even half their role, these students they are crying for will study and they will study free. Schools will be built, education will be accessible. The second point that I have on this is that when you see them unite, you know why. Because they are the people that will be spending this money, right? But you also forget the contracts in the schools. How do they get the money? You'll say, oh, they're spending this money. How do they get it? We both know, you and I, we're bright people. <laughs> and we both know that these contracts are awarded to people close to them. How many times have you seen uh, there's a governor that was, that was arrested together with his, uh, with his wife? How many times have we seen that? You look at these accounts, it's their wives that run these companies. And so you think a school has been built, someone somewhere has gotten employed, but this money is going back to them. We know how they get their air-conditioned cars and their fuel guzzlers. We know why they own seven cars, ten cars, three homes, five homes in Kenya and others abroad. And you're just a mere MP receiving a salary of 800000 because they are dependent on this constituency development fund for them to enrich themselves and their families. But what is most shameful, according to me, is when you see MPs who say that the president is violating the constitution, especially those from the Azimio side, and still stand and say we need the CDF for our learners, even though the courts had said this is unconstitutional. The Attorney General gave an advisory that the MPs get this money. The President promised them once he gets elected, CDF will be distributed to them because he wants to hold Parliament. And then you go outside there as an Azimio MP and say that this Parliament is being controlled by the President. Isn't this shameful? When we talk about the rule of law and you go ahead and violate it and say that the Kenya Konza administration is violating the rule of law, if I were Raila, I would tell these MPs, especially those from my side, Radienda MP, Utendio Amolo, with all due respect, senior counsel, isn't this shameful? We need to get to a place as a country and tell the truth as it is. This is just materialistic. What MPs need to do, come up with a bill, all right? Say, let learners get bursaries from county governments, from national government, and we'll make sure that learners get this money. If you're out there and you're saying, we want these MPs uh, to fight for us, this is what you need to tell them. They come acting benevolent while they enrich themselves. I'm sorry for calling out Azimio, but this has to be said. Kenya Kwanza MPs, I have nothing to say for you <laughs> because, well, there's nothing that can be said that hasn't been said. This is General Cabrera Unfiltered. Until we do talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day.